Welcome to the wild world of Formula One, where drivers zoom around racetracks at insane speeds and apparently are now racing to show who can be more emotionally open. Lando Norris, our brave little race car driver, has popped the question, is being honest about mental health a superpower or a surefire way to end up as the least popular guy in the paddock? Honestly, I don't think even the magic of team principal money can solve that puzzle. Picture this. You're in a high stakes atmosphere, adrenaline pumping, and your teammate suddenly opens their heart about their mental struggles. Oh great, you might think, can we just swap tires instead of feelings? But really folks, isn't this just the latest trend? Forget carbon fiber. The new must have accessory for an F1 driver seems to be a well shined vulnerability. Who's next? A driver crying in the pit lane? You might as well hand out tissues with the pit stop strategy. Not to be cynical, okay, maybe just a smidge, but what does it say about us if a driver's most elite skill is holding a microphone and sharing their feelings? The last time I checked, we didn't reward soft skills with podium finishes unless you're a therapist at a Grand Prix. You have to wonder, are we looking at a new championship title? Race for the best psychological narrative? I can already picture the trophy. It's a therapist's couch on wheels. Yes, yes, being open about mental health is important. This is coming from a bottomless pit of sarcasm, mind you. Norris has certainly taken a brave step in normalizing conversations that usually come with a side of taboo. But let's flip the script. Is being emotionally vulnerable on national television the new way to gain fan sympathy? Let's not act like we're all on board. If drivers start shedding tears after every race, it'll be like watching a soap opera on wheels. Take a moment to consider the long-term repercussions. What if Norris's confession leads to more engaging chats than actual racing strategies? I can see it now. In today's strategy meeting, we'll analyze tire degradation and share our thoughts on seasonal depression. I mean, really, will the next tech upgrade in the garage be a well-stocked therapy corner with scented candles? Because if that's the case, I'm in. Just imagine the scent of burnt rubber mixed with essential oils. And let's not even get started on endorsements. How quickly do you think a certain energy drink will roll out a campaign featuring Lando sobbing in the garage with the tagline, fuel for your feelings? Meanwhile, we're still trying to comprehend how you can be both a speed demon on the track and a gentle soul navigating the ups and downs of mental health. I can just hear those marketing meetings now, folks. Oh, the irony is delicious. So let's toss the question to you, dear audience. Are you ready to steer your next F1 opinion piece into the emotional lane? Or will you stay in the fast lane where only speed and smoke matter? Can a driver be a hero on the track while sharing the spotlight with their vulnerabilities? Or is that just an accident waiting to happen? What do you think? Time to rev up the therapy sessions or just stick to the old school tire talk? Let's hear your thoughts. Like and subscribe, please.